What? Is this even a thing? Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel, challenge, challenge, channel. <laughs> what the f was that? Um, today, Stevie Dre. Today, Stevie T <laughs> has dropped a new video. This one is called How to Be Slipknot, and this is going to be a double reaction because he's dropped another video after it called Nip Slot, which is going to be the follow up to this video. So, we're going to do that today if I can keep the teeth in my mouth. Anyway, before we jump into this reaction, if you do actually like the videos, then please consider it in like and subscribe, and the link to this video will be down in the description for anyone. Who wants to check it out by themselves? Or just watch me stutter and slaver all over the place. <laughs> First reaction of the day, what can I say? Right, TV's turned over, headphones are in, blah, 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 let's go. You know, I've been waiting a long time to do this video, and I think I finally have all the assets to finally do it. That's right, everyone. Today, I'm finally gonna show you guys how to be Slipknot. Okay. Oh my. That, that is like a half gimp mask. <laughs> What's going on? Be Slipknot. Oh my god, I forgot the most important part. <sighs> Can you guys hold on one second? I gotta call my electrician. What the hell are you doing? Get the hell off of me! What the hell are you doing? This is normal behavior! Get off of me! What the hell? <laughs> Alright! Uh, now this is Ah, uh, yes, because Corey Taylor wears a boiler suit! I see what he's done. Alright! Ah... Uh, now this is what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> From here on out, you'll refer to me as number nine, That's the okay. lead guitarist of Nick Slot. <laughs> this actually looks pretty creepy McSalad juice. This is, hello. <laughs> now you may ask yourself, how do I get heavy metal vocals if I can't sing? Well, I have an easy solution for you because today's sponsors are Wondershare Uniconverter. Check this out. Uniconverter can extract vocals from a song using AI. We just go to vocal remover, drag and drop the song in, and just wait a few seconds for the software to solo out the vocals in any That's song you want. Andy. It's the only thing so there you go, now you can take Works. those vocals and put them on any one of your songs and Corey Taylor sang for you. <laughs> now anyone who's done karaoke knows that most karaoke tracks sound like absolute sh**. I did my time and I want out. So if you say fate. But Uniconverter can cut out Psycho vocals social. as well, leaving you with an instrumental track, basically your own custom karaoke song. I did my time and I want out. Now that is some premium quality karaoke. <laughs> Uniconverter can even cut out background noise in your recordings, just in case your recording is bad quality or has background noises that you want to cut out. And even an audio compressor if you want to compress large audio file sizes. <laughs> And it does so at this super program. high speeds. Uniconverter supports more than a thousand different video and audio types. So <laughs> click on the link in the description to download Uniconverter right now and enjoy your own heavy metal karaoke. Now we're ready to write our Nip Slot song. Now you're gonna want your Slipknot song to start in a, a very low tuned, single note kind of riff, like. Slipknot, but you want you also want the riff to sound kind of creepy too. You don't want it to sound all happy and like metal Corey, like a <laughs> metal Corey Taylor. <laughs> too catchy. Slipknot wants to go for a creepy vibe, so we're gonna want to use more of like um, okay. a spacing of notes that is kind of more creepy. That's Slipknot. Okay. 
it's that Slipknot-y or what? But, but the other thing about Slipknot riffs is that you don't want to just play it like plain, like... Boring. What Slipknot likes to do is they kind of like to put a little... A little bit of bendy, just a little bit of vibrato okay. in there to give it kind of a creepy Slipknot signature sound. Listen. See how it just gives it that creepy Slipknot signature sound? So there we go, I think we got it. Let's uh, record our Slipknot intro riff. That's it, we've got it now, we're recording. <laughs> okay. Slipknot signature sound. So there we go, I think we got it. Let's uh, record our Slipknot intro riff. One, two, Metal Corey Taylor. Okay, but now Slipknot doesn't like to play the same chord over and over again. So what we're gonna do for the verse is we're gonna change up that riff just a little bit and kind of do a variation of it using power chords. Hello. <laughs> that's, I'm a, a, that's a plague doctor mask. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> that guitar was very nice. A variation of it using power chords. That guitar is nice. Seven stringer as well. Hello, I'm number zero 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 rhythm guitarist of Nip Slot. <laughs> so to refresh, we have our opening riff. But for the verse, we're gonna turn that into power chords. Yeah. Oh, and don't be afraid to peck a note here and there, you know, slip knot. <laughs> 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 All right, so now let's record our verse. <laughs> now that we have, do you know behind the behind the facade, behind the humor, behind the masks, if you like, this guy is a very, very, very talented musician, and the way he's playing this is absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to hear it all done. Now that we have our verse and intro, it's time to do our little Slipknot-y chorus. So much like any other band, Slipknot likes to incorporate power chords, open power chords, for their chorus. But we're not gonna okay. get catchy with it. We don't want a catchy sounding chorus like metalcore. I push my fingers into my eyes. <laughs> the only slow way to stop the Catchy, lame. Slipknot likes to get a little creepier with their chorus Dancing. chords. We want it to be Metal Corey Taylor. So instead of, we might just go. Okay. Creepy sounding, but also retaining a little bit of catchiness. Hello, I'm number 53.235, drummer of Nifla. So what do you say we write some Slipknot drums? So he's took he's totally took the idea of them making like masks and made them as stupid as he possibly could. We've got that weird cut out gimp thing with a big smiling face. He's now he's got a plague doctor. He's got one that looks like a bit of a, a slipknot mask. Now he's got a pigeon head. <laughs> he's cool. Ooh. <laughs> I'm drummer of Nipslot. So what do you say we write some Slipknot drums? So here we go. Each one of these blips equals a drum beat. The lower row okay. is kicks. These ones are Smash. snare and are cymbals and so forth. So here's a common drum beat. Let's see what we got. So again, very common drum sound, but it's still a little bit too boring for someone like Joey Jordison. So what we're gonna try to do is get a little more kinky with the, the with the kick drum, see if we can add a little bit of more slip knotty spice to the slippy doodle yeah, sandwich. More random. See that's a little closer, but Joey Jordison li likes to make it a little more interesting than that. So we might add a little bit more double kick. Like in one section here, just add a whole bunch of little Little yellow kicky nicks. Ooh, yeah, here we go. Yeah. Good. One more. There we go. Yeah. There we go. 
see that that's just better wow. than just double kick the whole time it just, just adds so much more flavor to our slipknotty mix sandwich so yeah that's how you write slipknot drums <laughs> now we can't have vocals until we have lyrics and admittedly i'm a terrible lyric writer so luckily i have a metal lyric generator what is this even a thing Three adjectives, evil, frightening, etc. <laughs> what the f Oh my god, there's a way to cheat at everything. I'm a terrible lyric writer, so luckily I have a metal lyric generator. Three adjectives. Slimy? <laughs> That's not very slipknotty. <laughs> um, grubby? I feel the pain! You're looking grubby! What about painful? <laughs> painful. Hateful? Hateful, that's an adjective. If I can freaking spell it, there we go. Three singular nouns. Devil, okay, actually that's, they don't sing about gremlins, but they do sing about devil. Um, skin, skin. I can think of a few times uh, they have sung about skin. I'm overthinking this. What has Corey Taylor sang about like every song? He says so often it's unbelievable. Something you can master. Um. You can chickens. master chickens, really? <laughs> you know, over the past while, I became really good at chickens. Uh, guilt, guilt, guilt. Something okay. you can pull. Um, <laughs> don't, Stevie, stitch, don't. Stitch, I don't know why, but that word is so slipknotty. Something you- I thought he was gonna be rude then when he said something you pull. <laughs> stitch, stitch. Uh, I don't know why, but that word is so slipknotty something you can smash oh, okay now we're getting metal uh bone bone they've sang about bone a few times <laughs> so uh we can smash bones something you could twist in your life no fate <laughs> twist of fate, fate? Yeah. i think cory taylor sang about fate before something terrifying i'm thinking disease disease yeah, I can I can think of a couple times Corey Taylor has used that in a lyric. Finally, what is your artist name? Thought you'd never ask. We're we're Nipslot. Our genre <laughs> is metalcore retailer. If we don't get good lyrics for this, then I don't know what will. A painful devil nestled somewhere in time. A hateful skin. No warnings. No signs. That literally sounds like Slipknot lyrics. <laughs> a painful devil nestled somewhere in time. A hateful skin. No warnings. No signs. I had to see was a disease watching me. Was a swallow just some kind of hell? So a trademark. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's funny. That is funny. Watching me was a swallow just some kind of hell. So a trademark of Corey Taylor's vocals is switching between angry. And clean singing. I like to sing clean, but then I go like this. Give me a it clean note, then I'll sing like this. Something yeah. like that. I don't sing as good as him, but something like that. Ah, he's clean. <laughs> but he's got the basic message of how Corey Taylor sings, hasn't he? And that's what he's doing. Which, you know, it, 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 when he does that, you'd go, oh, he's taking off Corey Taylor, even though he sounds nothing like him. But it's just the, the, the whole technical ability that he's doing that is Corey Taylor's. There's something like that. Ah, he's clean. <laughs> what? That was just Machine Gun Kelly. I put my fingers <laughs> into my eyes. <laughs> but as for the chorus, we're going to get some nice, clean Corey Taylor vocals with just a little hint of creepiness. <laughs> so let's see what we can do for our chorus here. Compliments of Lyric Generator. <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly again. Oh, <laughs> it, it sounded like he was barking like a dog. <laughs> oh, I went Machine Gun Kelly again. Oh, all right. Now we're starting to get a little slippy doodle dandies in here. What? Uh oh, these three more members. Every Slipknot band has to have a rabble rouser. You know, the member whose sole purpose is to hype up the crowd and hit kegs and hit okay. things with bats. And I know just the person for the job. <laughs> what the fuck? Hi, stalker. 
I... Window. Do you want to be our rabble rouser? <laughs> all right, so we got all of our members. You guys are having so much fun. I want to be in the band too, but I'm not good at any <laughs> instruments. <laughs> Slipknot is not a band. Slipknot is community. And it doesn't take a lot to hit a beer keg with a big stick. Is that what he's going to do? Not a band. <laughs> Slipknot is community. Want to be our tom player? But I can't play drums. <laughs> Just hit the tom. Just hit the tom. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Terryberry? Mr. Terryberry, your locks have been changed. You should be good to go. Do you want to be our DJ? Uh, I don't have a musical <laughs> bone in my body. All you got to do is press the button. <laughs> Just press the button. Uh, it does sound good, though, doesn't it? Okay, so so we can show our music video now? Shut up, bass player. Uh, that, that was me. <laughs> bass players are frowned upon, aren't they? Say the failed guitarists. <laughs> Shut up, bass player. Uh, that, that was me. So can we show everyone the song now? No, no, we don't have enough members yet. Th there are literally no more instruments. Well, there is one more instrument. <laughs> Bear keg. Hiya, sport! No, please, please, I've nothing left. <laughs> you wanna play triangle? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, this is about the time of the video where I would show you guys my music video, but I'm gonna upload this one separately because it turned out to be pretty friggin' sick. When you check out the music video, leave a comment. Let me know who you think is my Corey Taylor. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the music video. Wow. We'll load that up ready. We won't do it yet. Ah, I can't wait for this. Cannot wait to see what this nip slot is about because the way he was playing it on the um, computer showing the different bits and the different drum sections, etc. It was pretty freaking cool. It was awesome. <laughs> God only knows what foolery he's going to put into this video with these personas of the nip slot band members. He's got like stalkers and he's got like a delivery guy who he's robbed and he's got like Someone playing the triangle, like, what the fuck? <laughs> right, okay. So this one is the second part of this reaction. Stevie T showing us basically what he's built out of all these different elements of a Slipknot song and these, let's just say, parody masks. <laughs> right, let's go. Look at that one. Look at that mask. Look at it. <laughs> Go. It's cool as fuck. I would piss myself if he had got Corey Taylor actually to do this. That was a Corey Taylor mask.
That was a Curry Taylor mask. Tell you what, you know, kudos to Stevie T for this one. I don't know if he's had any help with people coming in or anything. I do not do not know. I mean, obviously he's in the video himself, but is that a different singer, or has he ripped? Is he just ripped like a song off or, or multiple songs to make the song? I'm not sure. But I mean, this, you know, if Slipknot had brought this out, you would say it's a fucking cool Slipknot song because it sounds cool. No, in any other song, any any other song, if someone lifted a triangle up and just tinged it, you wouldn't you wouldn't even bat an eyelid. But the fact he's had this guy, well, it, himself, a persona of himself, saying he can't play anything, and you, you've took everything off me, you can play the triangle, as there was no instruments left, and the way he just lifted it up like it was like the most important thing in the video. Comedy genius, but. Sonic kills fuck at the same time. This is the end, my friend. I'll be the only one to save you. Sounds really good. And the, the motions of the people taking off Slipknot with their head turned to the side, the way the, the visuals are done in the video, it is very Slipknot, not just in sound, but in the visuals. It, I mean, even though there's gimp masks and whatever else and pigeon heads and llamas and whatever, it still looks like how a Slipknot video is done. It's brilliant. <laughs> This sounds like it should be in the era of Slipknot where these do the um, like the songs like Unsainted and stuff like that. It's like a newer version. It's like a newer sound for Slipknot, not the older, older stuff. But you can still hear some sort of, you know, it just, it sounds very authentic. It's brilliant.
fucking awesome design. So the, he got somebody in to edit it, right? So it was done almost like semi-professional or even professional. I thought it was supposed to be re revealing us, reve re revealing to us who his Corey Taylor was. I'm not impressed, Stevie T. <laughs> I'm impressed with your video. I'm impressed with your song. I mean, I mean I'm impressed with everything about the, both of the videos leading up to this song. Which was absolutely fantastic. He killed it. I love the little hints of humor in there where you're smacking the llama in the face and like hitting the triangle and all the other little quirks you put in when you was talking about him in the first video. But you said you was going to re reveal who the Corey Taylor was. You didn't. Maybe that's going to come in a third video. Who knows? This was an absolute blast leading up to a very, very cool song. And yeah, absolutely brilliant. Enjoy it. Fantastic. Every time I watch DVT, I come away thinking. That was a cool ass video, and this is no different. Anyway, if you like my videos, then please hit like and subscribe, and I shall see you guys on the next one.